A few weeks ago, Richard Santi, a subscriber to this channel, left a comment asking me if we had Roadrunners here where we live. He said he loves Roadrunners, and I do too. In fact, I think they're probably my favorite bird. Well, Richard, we do have lots of Roadrunners here in Palm Springs, and we even have some here in our neighborhood. But trying to get them to stand still long enough for me to film them is definitely easier said than done. I think they're more camera shy than Jim. I usually see Roadrunners on my walk every morning, but usually by the time I pull out my phone, turn on the video camera, and start to film, they're long gone. So in the nearly 20 years that we've lived in this neighborhood, I've only managed to film a few of the slower ones. It's especially fun when they come into our yard. I've seen them in our front yard many times, and even in our backyard quite often. But I've never once been able to capture them on film in our yard. Since I'm allergic to cats and dogs, we don't have pets. So these Roadrunners are the closest things we have to a pet. They do seem to prefer to run rather than to fly. But every now and then I do see them fly. It seems to be short distances, usually when I won't stop following them and they want to get away. But most of the time they just hide behind large rocks or bushes. And as you can see, they really do tend to blend into the background, to the landscape. If you're watching this on a small device, you might not even be able to see them especially when they're trying to hide among the gravel and the rocks and the bushes. As much as I like to watch them and film them, I'm also a little bit hesitant to get too close because they can be pretty vicious if they're provoked. So I try not to get too close and just to use my zoom lens, but they're usually just moving too fast to film that way. This is very rare for a roadrunner to let me get this close. Maybe he thinks I have food. I wouldn't be surprised if the neighbors tried to feed them. But it looks like he's found breakfast on his own. The one thing I don't like about Roadrunners is that they eat all of the lizards. As kids, my brothers and I used to see and catch lizards all over Palm Springs. And we just let them go after we caught them. But something I noticed as an adult was that all the lizards seem to have disappeared from the desert here. The lizards here have always been very friendly, and I really miss seeing them. About the only time I see them now is hanging out of the mouth of a Roadrunner running down the street. But that's certainly better than seeing a cat hanging out of the mouth of a coyote running down the street. And sadly, I have seen that a couple of times here. That's one of the hazards of having a small pet, a little dog or a little cat, if you live here in Palm Springs or anywhere in the desert. Fortunately, coyotes don't come into our neighborhood very often. This week, I want to give another shout out and a very big thank you to Gretchen Lang. Thank you, Gretchen, for another very kind and generous donation to my channel using YouTube Super Thanks. And of course, thank you to all of you who have taken the time to subscribe. Until next time, everybody, keep an eye out for roadrunners and coyotes, or whatever wildlife you happen to have in your neighborhood.